New York Central Railroad versus Grimstad. So, boat was lacking certain safety equipment. Uh, the defendant gets found negligent uh, for their lack. However, there was no proof that that uh, equipment would have saved the life of the drowner. They're not at fault for his drowning. Negligence has to be connected. Basically, what happened is uh, the wife of the guy who drowned tried to save him, used some piece of equipment, but took too long to get to it. So he drowned before she got there. Um, had it been replaced with a different piece of equipment, it wouldn't matter. Oh, but they could have had the piece of equipment where she was. Yeah. And we could build a boat, you know, where no one can fall off. We can do that. We can put a million life rings on it. That doesn't make sense. It's too much work, <laughs> I guess. And that's what the court's saying. But no, it makes sense, right? How many life rings do you need to have on a boat? I don't know. I'm not a boat safety expert. But someone out there has a number. An optimal number of boat life rings. 